to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shanna Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. This week, we are broadcasting from Reliance Center. We are down at the 28th Annual Texas Home and Garden Show. This is the largest home and garden show in the state, and lots of vendors down here showcasing their products, talking about their products. So if, whether you need to uh, get a, a pool in the backyard, do some landscaping, or do some interior work on your home, maybe you want to do some renovating, you can find uh, uh, any of those types of vendors down here at the show and get a lot of, uh, really find out about a lot of innovative products that they are showcasing down here. You can stop by our booth, the Houston Real Estate Radio booth. We've got realtors here and you can calculate the value of your home. They've got the iPod, uh, iPads out. You can put, just put in your name and your email. We will email a full report uh, to you about your home, giving you that value. And there's several things you can do with that. One is that uh, you can protest your taxes with that. If you feel like the value of your home was too high on your taxes, you can use that report in that way. It gives you lots of information, uh, flood maps, all kinds of great information in there. And a lot of people don't realize that home values have gone up 10% in the last year. So really exciting news if you're deciding on whether to renovate your home or sell your home. It's got a lot of great information in that report, and you can get that free down here at the Texas Home and Garden Show. All right, next up on the show i got a great friend of the show on here with me today, Nasir Mullick. He is running for Justice of the Peace. He is a Republican candidate, and he is also a custom home builder of Sunrise Custom Homes. He's a businessman, and he's running for Justice of the Peace. Welcome back to the show, because I know you've been on before. Uh, thank you. Glad to be here. So, always great to have you, and I know that you are really working hard in this election, and, you know, I see your signs everywhere. I know that you're out there meeting and greeting people. You talk to a lot of people, um, and, you know, there are a lot of issues going on. Tell me about some of the issues that you're seeing uh, with, the, with the, the justice of the peace that's currently in. What are the issues that people have? Well... The major issue, we, I mean, there are quite a few. The first one is the truancy cases. Mm -hmm. uh, people who live in Humble and Kingwood, they can relate to that. Uh, as, as I've mentioned before, Precinct 4, I'm running for Justice of the Peace, Precinct 4, Place 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, those who are listening to me, this is a huge precinct. It starts from Cyprus and it goes all the way east towards uh, Lake Houston. Okay. So. Uh, it, it's so amazing that a lot of people in Cyprus in spring and Klein, they we were not they would not even knew that they have to vote for both KPs. So so they think those issues uh, doesn't matter to them, but mm -hmm. they, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have over 1,500 truancy cases that have not been heard, mm -hmm. uh, and those kids have not paid their dues, and they're out on the street now committing crimes. Uh, th that's a major issue. Then we have another issue, a very high percentage of juveniles now. Those cases have been, in, uh, they are not decreasing, they are increasing. These are juvenile delinquents? Yes. Um, also, uh, then we have issues with our uh, law enforcement people, where you have, they are scheduled to come and testify uh, the day that they are off. And that is more money to the taxpayer, to you, to me. Paying overtime. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you name it, the DPS, the constable, the sheriff, humble police, they all have that issue. Mm -hmm. Then I have seen personally with my own eyes sitting in that court where I have seen that a uniformed police officer has to wait for a couple of hours before testifying uh, on, on a traffic ticket. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that is a vestige of their time. Sure. They should be on a street protecting us. Right. And uh, so that court uh, needs uh, quite a bit overalling. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs, we need to make that court more efficient. And uh, we have JP1 who's doing 100, over 105,000 cases per year. And then at JP2, we are doing less than 45,000 cases per year. So these are some of the issues that have prompted you to run. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very passionate about children. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw these issues four years ago, and Shannon, I wanted to uh, make one thing uh, to the public for record that I am the only candidate in this race, folks, that I decided to run four years ago for this race, not when I saw a job opening sign when incumbent decided to retire after 32 years. I saw the issue in Humble Kingwood area. I felt the pain of the people of Humble and Kingwood area, and I decided to take a bullet for that community, and people thought I was fooled to run against incumbent who's been there for 32 years. Right. And then last year in May, he decided to retire and he announced it. And then we have people coming out of woodwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, at one time, Shannon, we have seven 
people in this race. Uh, six plus myself, and now we are four plus myself. There's still five in this race. Yeah, and you know, it, it, yeah, it's going to be a race for sure. And in March, uh, you've got the primary coming up, and it's so important. I think a lot of people don't go out to the primaries and vote, and it's so important. Uh, and d definitely, especially the people who have children and who worries about our future generation, I mm -hmm. believe they should get out and vote. And they should vote for the candidate that what their heart says. Right. And they should not fall in for a trap that, you know, if establishment or the machine, we need to stop that. Yeah. You know, we need to see who's good for our community. And that's what people need to come in. Definitely, they need to, this election is, especially the people of Kingwood at Humble, and this is my humble request to them, that they need to come out and use their vote put the trust in those people's hands that then they trust. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's talk about the marriage issue because there have been a lot of talk that uh, there could be some changes coming to Texas with same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that that will happen? You know, uh, I don't control what happens in Austin. And uh, that, that, they're, that they're very well possibility is that it may happen. And as Justice of the Peace, you'll be able to perform marriage. Is that correct? Uh, we do perform marriages in Justice of the Peace. I would think that's kind of one of the highlights of the job is seeing, you know, these uh, couples uh, come together happily and being able to, to, to bless off on their marriages. I think that's exciting. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. We will be performing marriages at, well, at, the, just at, at our courthouse, yes. So if, uh, if same-sex marriage comes about, um, will you be able to perf will you perform those services? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Shannon, because... Uh, a few months ago, on one of the Tea Party events, there were uh, myself and there were three other candidates, happened to be all lawyers, mm -hmm. and uh, this question was asked. And the answer has to be yes and no. Um, so all my lawyer's friend said no, and I want a little clarification before saying yes and no, and I asked, very, just like you have asked that question, and I asked that, that if this becomes a law, if that's what this question is, and they say, yes, if state and Texas approves and it becomes a law, will you or will you not? And Shannon, I was the only candidate who answered yes. Because once, once we are sitting in that court, we have to follow the law. Right. We should leave our personal preferences outside of that court and treat everyone equally and follow the law. Mm -hmm. And yes, I will perform them as long as I am a JP. So let's talk about some of the solutions that you're bringing um, when you're elected for JP. What are some of the things that you want to, that you, some of the solutions that you've thought of that you want to initiate? Absolutely. We, um, the first we have to clean up our, clear up our backlog, the truancy backlog we have over 1,500 cases. And it's going to take a little time to do that. And that's where the, the whole community has to get involved in that. Um, and we have to, currently they are in, treated, uh, all the truancy cases have been referred to uh, JP3. So we need to bring them back in. We need to find, uh, I, I always believe in creative sentences. I don't believe that children should be punished and or just fine and let the parents come and pay the fine. I want children to be involved in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to make them sweat. <laughs> uh, as you uh, may know or not, some people call me mini po. Uh, because Ted Poe is very, you know, our Congressman Poe, mm -hmm. Judge Poe, he was very much into creative uh, sentences. Right. And I always believe the kids are uh, innocent. Uh, I think the problem is with the parenting. So we are going to find some creative uh, sentences and we are going to make sure the kids are taken care of very well. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to do electronic uh, uh, filing and uh, we are going to make the court paperless. Uh, we have an issue with police officers, or our law enforcement getting uh, their uh, notice notification to appear in a court either the day they were supposed to come or the day after they are supposed to come. So we're to gonna automate change. some things. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so there, and also we're going to, all the police officers, law enforcement, we're going to make sure that we have one day of month that they have be notified and make sure the day they are working mm -hmm. so they can come on their, their day and they testify against their cases not coming on the day they're off. Okay, sounds good. Tell us how people can contact you and find out more about your campaign. Uh, they can go to malik4jp.com. It's malik, F-O-R, or number 4jp.com. And they can call us and they can reach us anytime. All right, thanks so much. Glad to have you here. We'll be right back at the Texas Home and Garden Show here on Houston Real Estate Radio.